We've received some feedback from viewers that it's useful to see comparisons within a single brand. So today we're going to do something a bit different, in the form of a quick rundown of Upa Baby's entire current lineup, weighing the advantages and disadvantages of each model as they apply to differences in lifestyle and environment. So that, in case you've settled on Upa Baby as a brand, but you're not sure which one to get yet, you can find the model that will fit you best. As a quick note before we get started, I'd just like to say that we don't sell strollers, use affiliate links, or engage in any form of paid advertising whatsoever, and that our opinions are based on a decade's experience of repairing strollers. So let's get going then, beginning with the Minu. The Minu clocks in at 6.7 kilos and folds down to 52 by 29 by 58 centimeters. It can carry 22.6 kilos in the seat and 9 kilos in the underslung shopping basket. Technically, the Minu is an ultra-compact, though its folded size is unfortunately too large to pass as cabin luggage for the majority of airlines. And while with most ultra-compacts, that simple fact would be enough to kill a stroller for me, this doesn't hold true when it comes to the Minu, as the model's structural and performance characteristics are strong enough that I find it actually serves a niche different to travel. So, what is the Minu then? In a nutshell, the Minu is an incredibly sturdy, one-hand folding ultra-compact that, while functionally quite spartan, it doesn't have extras like a full recline or an adjustable leg rest, does have a seat relatively large for a model of its size, a robust and simply constructed chassis, a shoulder strap to make carrying easier, and good suspension and driving ability, again, for a model of its size, which will allow at least some limited travel over lighter rough terrain like gravel and well-kept lawns. As far as Upper Baby's lineup goes, the Minu is the model to choose if you're looking for something small and simple for shorter trips, if you don't need the added terrain capability, carrying space, newborn options, or reversible seat, and you'd rather not pay for them either, in terms of price, space, or weight. If the environment and lifestyle limitations of the Minu are too restrictive for you, however, then the next model up, size-wise, is the Cruise V2, which clocks in at 11.5 kilos and folds down to 42 by 58 by 84 centimeters, with the seat attached. It can carry the same 22.6 kilos in the seat, but a heftier 13.7 kilos in its underslung shopping basket. Unlike the Minu, the Cruise V2 is a full-size stroller, with a larger reversible seat and a huge shopping basket in relation to most competing models on the wider market. It's also very easy to fold, folds down to a single standing piece with the seat attached, and is sufficiently compact when folded to fit in the trunk of a pretty small car. Driving-wise, the Cruise V2 will, of course, handle rougher environments than the Minu, but it's still primarily aimed at urban and light suburban terrain, the difference here being that it can tackle rougher conditions like gravel, uneven roads, and lighter park terrain as a part of its all-day, everyday use, not only without risking serious wear, but also without feeling too unpleasantly bumpy for you or your child. Like the Minu, the Cruise V2 has the same simple, rugged sort of engineering, and, when coupled with the excellent suspension brought over from the Vista with the move to the V2 model, means that the Cruise V2 has excellent longevity, and is a sort of model that can be treated a bit harsher than a lot of competing models in its class. Of Upper Baby's models then, the Cruise V2 is the one most ideal for people who want a reversible seat or want a full-size stroller, but for whom folded size is highly important, such as if you have a car-based lifestyle, but have a small trunk. If neither of these models sound like they have sufficient terrain capabilities for the environment where you live though, then the next step up is the Vista V2, which is a more of a commitment price-wise, but which offers a number of performance and luxury characteristics that are lacking on both the Cruise and the Minu. The Vista V2 clocks in at 12.4 kilos and folds down to 44 by 65.3 by 84.5 centimeters with the seat attached, and like the Cruise V2, can carry 22.6 kilos in its primary seat and 13.7 kilos in the underslung shopping basket. Mechanically, the Vista V2 functions pretty much identically to the Cruise V2, and thus sports the same strong, simple chassis design, built to last, and capable of tolerating rougher than average treatment. And it also folds down in the same manner as well, into a single standing piece with the seat attached, though note that the folding dimensions will require a little more room in the trunk. What you get with the Vista V2 that you don't get with the Cruise V2 then, is significantly increased terrain capability, a bassinet included with purchase, and, while the shopping basket is not that much bigger, the ability to raise up the seat with adapters makes the Vista V2's basket more accessible, and also brings your baby closer to you of course, which is very nice as well. And on top of all this, there's also the tandem option, for converting the model to carry two children. As far as comparing this model to the rest of Upa Baby's line goes, the Vista V2 is the one to go for if any of these added qualities are particularly appealing, and it's the model you need to go for if it's particularly bumpy or it snows where you live, or if you plan to use your stroller off-road regularly. Lastly, while it's not my first choice in general for a dedicated two-child stroller with regards to the wider market, the possibility of adding a second seat can be very useful for a pinch period between children, where you need a two-child stroller for a shorter period of time, and is not an option offered on the other strollers we've mentioned so far. So, I'll bet you thought we were done there, but the strange truth is that Upa Baby actually has six models in their current lineup, not just three. 
Hidden in the dusty back rooms of Upper Baby's otherwise very forward-oriented website are the G-Lux, G-Lite, and G-Link 2, three dinosaur designs still walking around from the Age of Umbrella strollers, back before the Babies and Yo-Yo came along a decade ago and made the whole concept obsolete. I'm not going to go into all the reasoning here as to why the umbrella design is ridiculously outdated, we have another video that discusses this in detail, but suffice it to say that there's no reason these days to sacrifice horizontal stability just to carry around a golf bag, nor is there any reason to use dual wheel setups unless you're driving an airplane. In my mind then, these models are mostly I bought the t-shirt purchases, all about the logo, but just in case someone out there is looking at them because they either want a small size daily model in the case of the G Lux and G Lite, or a small size 2 child model as with the G Link 2, please note that in my opinion, there are way better options out there from other manufacturers. In any case, we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about any of these models, we have standalone reviews for each of them, and links have been added in the description. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find that by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.